In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock your sensor, your three travel medallions, as well as your hero's path in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. You will need the auto build ability first, and then you're going to return to Lookout Landing and speak to Joshua, and this will start some, some text and everything. I'll let you experience the story yourself, though. This will lead you to having to use auto build to repair the hot air balloon outside. And once you've done that, get Robbie to come here so that you can continue the quest line and he will move to a new location where you will follow him. This is going to be in Hateno at the laboratory, basically at this little location over here at the bottom right of the map. So you're going to proceed here after you've engaged with him with the hot air balloon. Once you make your way to the laboratory, you're going to go inside and you're going to speak to him. The first thing he's going to do is unlock your sensor for you and allow you to find the shrine that is outside at the bottom of the cliff. Go ahead, find the shrine, collect the treasure inside, and return to Robbie. At this point, he will tell you about the travel medallion prototype, which is at the Akala kind of laboratory at the top right of the map. He marks it on the map, literally that yellow blinking thing. So go there and collect it when you're ready, and then you come back here. Luckily, he does place down a fast travel point right outside this building so you can return nice and easy. When you bring the prototype back to him, he will activate it for you, giving you your first travel medallion. Now it's pretty cool, you can unlock number two and number three by the amount of towers you have activated in the world. If you have 10 towers activated, you'll get the second one. If you have 15 towers activated, you will get the third travel medallion. You'll also be able to upgrade your sensor from tracking shrines to tracking anything in your compendium, right? And that means you need to first take photos of five unique monsters out in the world, come back here and he will upgrade your sensor to Sensor Plus so that you can use your compendium to track anything in particular. Before we demonstrate how these work, let's show you how to get Hero's Path mode. It's quite simple. You just have to have visited 15 different shrines in the world. It's kind of easy to do. And this will allow you to track your movements for everywhere on the map. Let's get to explaining. So starting out with the Hero's Path mode, all you need to do is open up your map. You can press the X button and this will show you in a green line every single path that you've walked for, I think, 250 odd hours. Yeah, 250 hours of your travel time will be recorded here and you can play it back. You can rewind it. You can fast forward it. You can use this to see if you've been to an area or not to, to make sure like, oh, did I get that? Did I not get this? I, I guess, I don't know. It's up to you how you want to use this. Now, if you press R a few times and you go to the tab called Hyrule Compendium, here's where your photos of the different things, items, horses, animals, foods, monsters can be tracked by pressing the Y key. And every time you're near whatever you're tracking, for example, the silver bokoblin that I'm tracking, every time it will scan them and will say, listen, there's one nearby. So if you're looking for specific items, wells, shrines, whatever you want, this is a good way to try track it without you actually having to focus too much on it. And lastly, how to use the travel medallions. You just need to go to your key items. You will have the travel medallions looking like this. It says three of them. You just place it wherever you're standing. And this is now a fast travel point for you to use whenever you want. You can place them all over the world, in the sky, in the depths, wherever you feel like is the best location for a travel medallion. Maybe like one of them, those sky runes so that you can get a nice area to fly to different things. In order to remove one, you just have to go on the map, click it. Instead of clicking travel, just click collect medallion. Wow, that, that word, that sentence. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.